Welcome to this week's Tip of the Week. One of the unique things about Dentamax is the ability to customize virtually any screen in the program to make it fit your unique needs and preferences for your practice. Uh, today we're going to talk in, in specifically about the ledger screen, how to customize a ledger screen. And so let's go ahead from the top of our screen. We'll click on ledger, take us to the ledger, and we'll go ahead and pull up our patient here. I'm going to pull up Lee Varney. So we'll talk, type in V-A-R, Varney. Go ahead and pull up his record. Now, on the screen, um, some of you may have a high-resolution monitor giving you all this extra space to the right. Let's go ahead and use it. We've got this extra space because of our high-resolution monitor. So um, certain things that you can do is you can lengthen, for example, your description column. Just drag it over. These are dynamic screens, not static like most of our competitors. You can change the width of these columns. You can even change the order of the columns. Let's say you wanted to move the surface to the left of tooth. Just move it right over. We can move it back here. Um, in addition to that, um, let's say you wanted to view additional information on the screen. Well, here at the top of your, uh, here in your ledger screen, call it your header. You can right click in any of these areas, and a little mini calendar will pop up um, with the option to customize the view. So we'll click on customize view, and you have all these additional, additional columns or fields that you can add, that you can view here if you move them to the right side. So let's go ahead and add a few things. Um, let's see, maybe uh, insurance, primary insurance paid, insurance one paid. We'll go ahead and add that. Puts it on the right hand side. Um, and if you want to rename it, you can right click on it and click on rename. And we'll go ahead, we'll put primary insurance. We've added that to the right with the new name, primary insurance. Click on OK. Uh, all sorts of neat things in here. I'm just going to go ahead for our little tip of the week purpose. Uh, we'll find, uh, let's see, claim number was in here. Let's go ahead and add that. And so maybe you're doing some research in your claim screen and you want to view the claim number over here in your, in your ledger screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go claim and we'll shorten that up with a pound. Claim number, pound sign there. I'll click on OK. And just that easily and quickly we've added these additional columns. One important thing to note is that to save these columns, to save these changes that we've added to our ledger screen, you want to close it down and then go back into it. Click on ledger again, we pull up um, Barney, leave Barney, and that's a one-time thing to close out and go back in. Now this is permanently saved, so anytime you go back in your ledger screen, you've added these additional, these additional columns. But I can see uh, very easily and quickly that the insurance, the primary insurance, has not yet been paid. We can verify it here by looking at the top, but I have a detailed view to see on each procedure that those haven't been paid. And I also have the claim number um, for, these, for these procedures. If I want to verify that, I can go to my claims manager, and, uh, and there we have Mr. Lee Varney and his claim number. We'll widen that column. Now we know we can do that. Claim number 31. Well, this has been your tip of the week. I hope that you'll enjoy this. Uh, play with your ledger screen. One little caveat, if you do make a mess here, no worries. Just right click at the top, go back to customize view, and you have this wonderful little uh, set default button that you can click on. Once you click on that, go out, go back in, and you're back to your default settings. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed this again, and we'll look forward to the tip of the week for next week.